tonight at 6.30, right here on your Keller Lane stations, we are putting a spotlight on the faces of the CBS broadcasting team, who will be calling this weekend's biggest game in football. Now, this will be the 20th year that the big game will be on CBS, which is more than any other network. Anthony Calhoun from our sister station, Wish TV, will take us behind the scenes as the crews get ready for the big game. The big game is here, and CBS is ready to go. In five, four, three. We're putting the spotlight on the faces working the biggest game in football for CBS. To be able to talk about you know, what it took to get there for these players and how important this is, I mean, it's a big day. You don't think about how many people are watching until afterwards when you walk off that field and you're like, oh my God. Such an honor to be able to call one of them. Plus five of them. Stand by and continue to voice in three, two. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. CBS is ready for the biggest night in football. In five, four, three, two, one. More than 110 million viewers will have their eyes on the network. We're back. Go. And the voice that will guide America on game day is Jim Nance. Stand by and Jim's voice in three, two, one, and go, Jim. Hello, friends, Jim Nance. Nance, who's been at CBS for 34 years, invited us to his home out in Pebble Beach, California, to talk about the big game. Listen, I try not to, like, get lost in any of that. Maybe the guy at home doesn't understand that's a big deal, but professionally, you get it, I get it. You know, didn't say anywhere on the birth certificate that I was entitled to grow up one day and call the Super Bowl or the Final Four or the Masters. All of them are great gifts. I don't take any of them for granted. Nance has been the face of CBS for so many major sporting events, but there's nothing like calling the NFL's ultimate prize. The most watched event in television. You're making me nervous. That's right. That being said, <laughs> how much pressure do you feel uh, when you know all eyes and the ears are focused on you in that booth <laughs> calling the game? How Come much on, pressure? AC, stop, man. <laughs> I want to I sleep between now and the game. I really do it like it's just any other week. You have to. You can't look into that lens and think, man, on the other side of that camera, there are 100 million plus people looking at you. It's just too daunting. When I look at that lens, I think of my father, that he's on the other side, and he's smiling right back at me, and that comforts me. And that's where Hello Friends came from. Well, it started back in 2002. My dad uh, was deep in the throes of Alzheimer's, and I told him on one of my visits that this weekend, Dad, because he had faint recognition at this point, I'm going to have a secret coded phrase just for you. I'm going to come on the air and say, hello, friends, because you have nothing but friends. So I looked into that camera for the first time saying, hello, friends. And you know what I found, AC? It relaxed me. And I've done it every show since. adored by Cowboys fans as a player, is now grabbing the attention of the NFL, working as an analyst for CBS. You want to finish it off today, it would be four in a row. Romo, in his second season in the booth for the network, will step into an area where many haven't gone before. A chance to work the big game. Romo has been a huge hit for CBS. He's raw. I'll never do that. He's funny. Well, they don't want anyone in this division to get in the playoffs. And never afraid to speak his mind. The problem is, this isn't any squad and this isn't any place. What I admire a lot about you is I feel like you're about as honest as they come. And I think as someone watching on television, you want that perspective. Is that kind of your goal going into games? I just think people are smart enough to know. They just know. I feel they may not know the technical side of football, and so I'm going to teach them that. But I think when people see something silly happen and you don't talk about it, I mean, it just seems, it seems that people are smart enough to understand. So I just talk about what you might see. And you, you know, if you saw someone false start and they didn't call it, you should be like, yeah, he probably false started. <laughs> Lives are going to change this afternoon. You know, for one of these two teams, these coaches, these organizations, these players, their family's going to feel it, the effects of it, it's going it's to have a ripple down effect for many, many people. And that's why it's so important. Romo, along with Nance, will be joined by Tracy Wolfson, who will report on the sidelines for the big game on CBS. And she is proof that hard work pays off. Tracy Wolfson. 
the eyes and ears on the field for America watching the big game on CBS. Thanks a lot, Jim. Arctic glass, death rays of icicles. Sunday will be the second time she has worked the big game for the network. Tracy's nearly 20-year run at CBS is pretty remarkable. She started as a runner, and now she's one of the top sideline reporters in the business. I did so many jobs before I finally got on the air, but, you know, I was talking to Andrea Kramer at Super Bowl 50, and she said to me, you know, make sure to take some time, look around, and pinch yourself, and just say, oh, my God, you're so lucky to be here, and what a long road it has been, and I do. I want to pinch myself all the time and say, wow, I can't believe I'm getting the chance to cover a Super Bowl. It's pretty cool. Tracy understands she's in the business dominated by men. In, but that has never stopped her from making her mark on the sidelines. They both bring leadership and confidence. For women, you just need to go out there, know what you're talking about, because you're going to be scrutinized a little extra than maybe a male on the sidelines or a male in the booth. And so, you know, that's what I tell myself, that's what I tell others, is, is just go out there and do your job. You know, don't draw attention to the fact that you're a woman, you're a man, whatever it is. You know, just go out there, do your job, know your stuff, and kind of blend in. And that's kind of how I've always, you know, approached being being on the sidelines as a female, and I've been very fortunate. I truly believe that. Now here's something for you. CBS will have a whopping 115 cameras for the big game, and hundreds will be on site working for the network. The Big Game All Access Pass special airs tonight on your Land stations at 6.30 Central Time, 5.30 Mountain. We'll take you behind the scenes to show you more of what the CBS sports crew has to say about the tremendous responsibility of bringing Sunday's game to the fans. And we'll talk with the NFL Today crew about what makes their on-air chemistry so unique.